Oh my god, lady. <laughs> thank you for the raid. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you doing this evening, madam? How was the rest of uh, your... Uh, what the hell's the name of that game? I can't remember. Now, uh, out, outpost? No, not outpost. God damn it. Help me out, Vandy. Outlast. Outlast! Thank you. Out something. I was, <laughs> my next guess was going to be outhouse, and I was like, that's definitely not it. Oh, shit. Charms, Oscar. Abby, how's everybody doing this evening? You couldn't wait anymore? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Outhouse, Pride Pog. Yeah, yeah. Outhouse, indeed. So, uh, Vandris, have you logged into the game yet? You have. Sick. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, factory. Hell yeah, man. Let's go. Well. Hmm. My switch is, like, off balance, sort of. Uh, I'm, I'm doing all right, man. How are you? I see Santa's logging in. That's good. What the fuck I is saw Ali said that they'll be here, though, a little late. Yeah, yeah. That's a fine. We needed more solar panels, right? A lot more solar panels. Well, feck. Dude, I, I am also I do have something tired. that's making some, but it's very slow going. Okay. Uh, I can't seem to... Oh, there they are. Okay, so we need... That shouldn't be too hard. I feel like we've got these somewhere. Yeah, like, I literally have a little setup going that, like, I have one of those requester chests. And I just have, like, bots bringing stuff to the requester chest. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's making it at a decent pace. It's just, it's not, like, mass manufacturing. Yeah, it's just, okay. I, we've got my farm that I'm working on, and then I have bots that are taking some of them and doing the schematics, I think. It was either you or Santa's put up. Oh, that's the Santa's. Ones that are, like... Was That's that a Santa's million outback? percent Santa's, yeah. yeah I, they're, oh. they're slowly filling them up over there, too. I'm sure you can tell that it's slowly getting filled up. So. I, I did have dinner, lady. I uh, I had um, some leftover German food. Furred? <laughs> leftover German food. I had some leftover German food from yesterday. It was very good. You have like 600 plus solar panels needing homes? Hell yeah. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> Uh oh. Please don't tell me the game just crashed. Dermanford! Factorio, are you okay? Vandy, is yeah, the look, game. It's, it's doing it for me, too. It's a server saving the map for Santa's. Okay. Santa's. Is it because Santa's is loading in? I don't know. I'm going to guess so because I just saw that Santa's was loading, so I'm going to guess that that's the case. Unless everything is super fucked. And then a case, um, oof. I mean, I can still scroll in and out, so... Oh yeah, me too. Hasn't completely frozen. You're still waiting for the map to save as well? Hmm. What happens if you stop it? Yo, Why? zombie, what's up, man? Okay. There we it go. Just, it just worked. Okay, yeah, I, I went in and I did a manual save, and then it was like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my, my bad. My, my bad, my bad. My bad. It was just like, you know, like sometimes when somebody's like really comfortable at work and they just kind of like ignore something on accident and then you're like, <clears throat> and they're like, oh, hood. <laughs> oh, yeah, my bad. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of what that reminds me of. How you doing, Zambi? Hey, minor tech issues. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine now. I feel like I need to expand more. Yo, Jacob, what's up? And by expand more, I mean kill more bugs. Although, I have I expanded enough? I don't know. Have I ever expanded enough? That is... I feel like the answer is no. That oh is no, I remember question. what I had to do. I remember what I had to do. Expand more, Jake, lip bite? Fuck yeah. Jacob's got an eggy mode now, and I, I, I think he's happy. Yes, let's go. <laughs> did, did you see it in the band cord? No, no. I'll, uh, I'll send it to you in a DM. I mean, he just he just put it in in the chat, <laughs> or put an, an egg in the in the chat. I sent it in a DM. Finish making some spaghetti with squash and some sausage slices mixed in, dude. That sounds fucking good. Oh my god! It's a Vandy. Oh my god! That's <laughs> yo, that's so good. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> Just the, the, like, rubbing eggs on face is too good. 
<laughs> it's just, I, it really is perfect for Jacob. Like, oh, I, yeah. I, I, I feel like it's been long, long overdue. Dude, can I tell you? I think I may have actually caused Leah to explode slightly yesterday. Oh. Yeah, so she sent a suggestion to me in uh, in Discord, and I responded. Here, I'll just, I'll just read the response to you. Um, I said, I love that suggestion. <clears throat> Sorry, suggest Tussie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she, she read it while she was streaming and just, like, fucking lost her mind. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, it, it, it clearly, clearly, uh, Sponge has infected us all, and everything is now Uzi. Oh no, stop it. <laughs> I will not. Oh god, that's a lot of bugs that are eating my face. Oh god, I am dead. I got killed. Oh. My tank is dead. Ow. Oof. Well, here I, like I go. I like how it says bad luck. Like, what a douche. <laughs> what a douche. What a douche. <laughs> what a douche. I hate it. I mean, like, you should have heard us yesterday, <laughs> lady. It was so bad. Everything became Ussy. Every single thing. There was not a single thing that was not Ussy. What, do you, what, do you, what, am, I li what am I listening about? I don't, it, it's so hard to ignore him because he puts the little, like, sad emotes there, you know? And it's just like, no, you can't uh, help zombie, it. Zombie, I, I ended up banning Zombie earlier. So, what? like, we're... We're 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 fighting, fighting. <laughs> Why? Because he said that he wanted to be banned for twenty four hours. So like, I just banned this, him. Okay, the zombie. This sounds he like said your he own. He wanted to be banned. Like, I'm just I give the people what they want. Uh oh, Santa's got dropped. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, zombie, but this sounds more like a you thing, man. Yeah, like. <laughs> like it's it sounds like you you done did yourself dirty he, he my friend. He didn't even confirm. She read it. Like she she knows it was there. Hell yeah. So you hate Ussy more than Moist, huh? Shit. That's uh that's that's unfortunate for me. <laughs> oh, my poor tank. My poor body. <laughs> All those legs. I did have a lot of legs, didn't I? You had a lot of legs, dude. I did have a lot of legs. And now the time, it, it, it has become time to replace the legs with lasers. Frickin' lasers! The frickin' lasers. Yeah. You finally have a woman that gives me what I want, like if I, I want to it. hurt... <laughs> oh, dude, no, no, no. I hate it. <laughs> Come on. I hate it. As you should. <laughs> As you should. Please Where the help. fuck is the tank? I can't. <laughs> listen, I, there's no helping you, madam. I'm sorry. Uh, You're stuck. 115% legs by volume. You are highly correct. So what do you got plans for after... Uh, after? Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> Sponge truly has infected my brain. What's up, Sponge? <laughs> is this OC slander? I, I actually said, what do you have? <laughs> I was about to ask lady, what do you have planned after Outlast OC? But then it just didn't happen, and my brain short-circuited instead. So what do you have planned for after Outlast? Which is the oh, actual oh. question I wanted to ask. I will admit I fully cheesed a bell-bearing hunter today. How did you cheese it? I got like 50 volcanic pots and I sat on a roof. <laughs> dude you know what listen i got so dude i gave that, no like and you can even ask like the people that were there i gave it a solid attempt for like an hour i'm and sure half, you did I, was getting just, I why is it that i can kill moog in like five attempts and yet like i'm struggling on a freaking bell bearing hunter what is <laughs> i don't know man and it didn't even give me anything that i wanted you know what it gave me what those purple shard things you can throw down that you use fp and it, like, does, like, some stupid little magic thing. What? And that, like, barely does any damage, and it's, like, a consumable. Little it's like purple a purple things. glintstone. Oh, that has other effects. Okay, well, still, like, the, the man's was not worth. I was hoping it would give me, like, smithing stone fives or sixes, you know? Oh, like... yeah. I, I didn't get any smithing stone thingies from uh, any of those guys. Yeah. 
Do I not have shotgun shells? Yeah, I was impressed. So I've killed like, I think either four or five of them now. Damn. Do you guys know if we have anything making shotgun shells? I highly doubt we do. Okay. I'm gonna request 200 of them. I don't know if they're actually in the network or not. I'm pretty sure we have tanks in the network, right? Um, I I know I had a tank at some point. I don't know who took it. I would okay. assume maybe it's in the network. Oh, I still need. Oh, I need shells. Fuck. Oh, there is tank. Okay, I will take a tank. Thank you. Where are the tank shells? Are there tank shells? <laughs> Oh, fuck. H hello? Tank shells, let's go. Oh, that's not a, That's nowhere near enough. Oof. There can't... Wait, what? <laughs> there can be if there's... I, I hate that sentence a lot, my friend. I really hate that sentence a lot. <laughs> I For some reason, the referring to anything as scary pee, -pee to me is just like... Ah, that's, uh, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Are we making, like, okay, I think a lot of this military stuff is made elsewhere. Okay, now I have to actually, like, replace the laser cannons again. With legs. Yeah. <laughs> Are you anti-scary PP? Uh, I mean, I think Lady's response is very accurate. <laughs> Shakily sipping. You're just dead as fuck. <laughs> All right, no worries, no worries. I understand being dead. AF. Where the fuck? Okay, goddamn it! Where the hell are we making all this shit? I just need cannon shells and like bullets. One, two, three, four bullet. Many bullet. I need bullets of all assorted varieties, including the explody kind. What? Vandy made you take your glasses off, Vandress. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Oh, this should be good. Usually when you start with a yeah, so, it's going to be pretty good. She was at a part where some cannibal dude had, like, just jumped down and was going to start chasing her. And she oh boy. paused because, like, she was, you know, trying to get mentally prepared for the chase that was about to happen. Uh, oh, boy. I might have redeemed it at that point. Ah, wait. Oh, there's a redeem to make her take her glasses off, huh? <laughs> Oh boy. I mean This this is like this is like the tenth time I've done it to her. So at this point it's like she knows what she's doing. Oh oh she you knows know what, what she's mean? doing. Ah. Like cause she doesn't get rid of the, the, the point redemption. <laughs> so <laughs> she knows, and I'm like the only person that redeems it. I don't think I've ever seen anybody else redeem that because and the whole time nobody else wants to be this mean to lady yeah but like <laughs> <laughs> yeah but like <laughs> i love her <laughs> <so>. <laughs> oh my god my god <laughs> what has happened <laughs> oh shit i forgot the fuel off oh, i mean you ain't wrong lady Mm-hmm. You, you ain't wrong. It's less scary if you can't see. Yeah. <laughs> less or more scary, I don't know. It's kind of like the principle of, like, older horror movies, right? Where, like, the scarier thing was when you, you know, like, the, the shit you didn't know about. All I'm here is she trusted me, and I used that to get close and knife her in the ribs. Then I twisted that knife and laughed as she bled out on the floor. I, I, I That's how I feel, Del. Yeah, yeah. You hear this, Vandy? We're, we're sussing you out, madam. Yeah, like, I mean, honestly, that's up, pretty, like... Word for word, that's pretty much what happened. <laughs> <laughs> she admit. She admit. I just, like, 
I'm just glad that Dell's the one to speak it into existence, you know? Like, we all knew. Yeah, yeah, of course. But Dell's like, I'll at least, you know, fill in the blanks for everybody that yeah. can piece it together at home. Yeah. We're just slapping around some dragons? All right. Good on you, Xano. Good on you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Welcome, welcome. Are you going to bring me fucking rocket fuel, you stinky bots? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> Lady, I love you so much. <laughs> I am very interested to, at some point, like, just, obs like, I, as I have said previously, I would love to just be, like, a fly on the wall when you two have, like, one of your little get-togethers. And just but observe the madness. lady, are we gonna have, like, a donut date or something soon? Are you still wanting to have another get-together soon? Because we were talking about uh, that. Donut date? Yeah, we get together and randomly we'll have, like, a voice call where we'll just, like, the last time it was ramen. Ah, uh, we'll just get a food, a mutual food together, and we sit and we talk and eat said food and just shoot the shit. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. I love. Holy that, shit! Del. I also love that. Oh my god! Please, I need it. I want, I <laughs> please, I want please that. DM me the name. Very good, Xana. Very good. <laughs> A Netflix advertisement because Netflix needs my money. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh. <laughs> Legends and lattes. That actually sounds familiar. Hold on. No, I think... I feel like I we might have talked about this previously. Told... I think Harm might have told you about this book. Oh, maybe. I think I think she did during one of our D and D sessions, like forever ago at this point. Oh, but this actually um, sounds really familiar now. Maybe it, it's a this is a spicy deja vu. What? Spicy deja vu. That that is something very different. <laughs> what? It's spice. How is it? How is it something different? Well, maybe maybe I've just been subjected to Moon too much, but my recollection is that Spicy Deja Vu is PTSD. Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, that's that's <laughs> not what I was thinking. Yeah, which is why I was like, no. are you sure? <laughs> yeah, no, that's... <laughs> it, it could be, it could be that that's just a Moonism. I think it is just a Moonism. Okay, all right, then uh, that yeah. is, that is very fair. That is an extremely fair assessment. Yeah. Your memory is My mint memory flavored. Is mint flavored. <laughs> indeed, indeed. I love. What What's up, Ford? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go kill some bugs and then take their territory and laugh, and then hopefully not get killed by the bugs, because then they'll laugh at me and I'll feel bad. Majestic, what's up, man? Majestic, what are we gonna do with you? Yeah. <laughs> lazy. A, to sexy memory? Fuck yeah, man. Yeah, that's hot. Exactly. Dude, we need to like as a as a as a like a planet as as a people, we really gotta normalize talking about sex more. Like for real. Yes. See, Majestic agrees. I mean, but I think Majestic and I are on similar horny levels, so, you know, I guess it makes sense that he would agree with me. <laughs> I've heard a thing of Spacey Deja Vu as intrusive but fun. Hmm. You know what? I feel like that's a very good way to look at it, Typical. Because, like, when I think of something spicy, I think of, like, it's a little un un unfun. Or not, not a little unfun, but, like, a little, um... Like, it hurts a little bit, but it's fun, right? You know? I think it's like a D&D &D session, but cafe, AU, and not fighting. Wait, what? I thought it was a book. More well kept together? I don't know about that, man. I don't know. I, th I, th I think it's more like you don't... Uh, you don't hold back on your thoughts, which I actually very much respect in that regard. I 
I know that, well, I, I don't think, well, I shouldn't say that you and I have shared experiences because I don't think that that's necessarily the case because you and I come from very different, like, upbringings and whatnot. But, um, and I'm, I'm not saying that to be, like, rude or anything. I just mean, like, from what you told me, it seemed, I, I feel like you and I are, uh, come from different upbringings, but that, that's not to throw shade again. Like, it, it's, it's more that, um, there are some experiences that we certainly do share and others that we have that are very unique to ourselves, if that makes any sense. Although I feel like I could say that about just about anything and that would be accurate. Okay, good, good, good. Alright, why the fuck did I do this? Alright, because so I was looking to join up the walls right. And also get this coal and that rock. Okay. It is? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that did you walk back in on? Just just like the normal talk, Liza. I, I, I randomly said we need to make, well, you need to normalize sex talk, and then we're talking about sex. And then it, you know. There we are. So, I don't know, it just feels weird to be, have, like, people, like, feel like they have to hide themselves, you know what I mean? Vandy? Yes? I'm, I'm, do, do you know what I mean? I mean, I, this was a conversation I said I have, like, I don't think it needs to be normalized, so... Why? I don't think this is a conversation for me. How come? No, this is uh, then. This is definitely a conversation for you because now I like you. You have a dissenting opinion, and I want to know what what your opinion is. I mean, unless you're uncomfortable sharing it, and I totally get that. I, I, like, uh, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit on the spot. Okay. So I'm gonna okay. No worries. Go back to yeah. The <laughs> same horniness level. Well, okay. Listen, I was talking about majestic and I, and I just I don't know. Like, I, I am not, we are not of the same persuasion exactly, but, like, I feel like we definitely are on, like, similar horny levels. Listen, I am almost six feet tall, okay? Almost. I'm almost there. Not that I'm going to get any bigger, because, well, yeah, not that I say almost. It makes it sound like I'm, I'm growing, but I'm not. Uh, and if anything, I'm shrinking. Um, yeah, there, no, there's definitely a reason it's not normalized, and it's conservatism. <laughs> like, that, that is definitely the reason, and puritanical beliefs. It's obviously down to each individual's comfort level, but nobody should feel embarrassed talking. Yeah, exactly, man. Nobody should feel embarrassed talking about sex. Like that, that's I, Oscar. You you said exactly what my what my brain was thinking. <laughs> oh, so actually, you and I are also uh, similar heights because I, well, actually, I haven't I haven't measured myself in a while, but because um, actually, well, usually I don't. I just wait until I'm at the doctor's office, and they're like, "You're this tall," and I'm like, "Okay, cool." Oh, yeah, no, no, no. See, here's the thing. What I mean when I say we should normalize uh, sex talk is that it shouldn't be weird to talk about sex, but you should also, like, keep, no you know, like, uh, other people's comfort levels in mind. Like, don't just run around and be like, blowjobs, 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 you know, like, or whatever. Like, talking about all your sexual partners. Like, nobody really cares, right? You know, but, like, we shouldn't be embarrassed to talk about sex in general is, is the point I'm trying to get at. Because it's repressive. You know, like when you when you shut down those conversations, it just becomes a repressive thing. And it does nothing good for anyone. No, that that's definitely the case. It has become an uncomfortable topic of discussion because of the way things are in our society. And like I said, that has a lot to do with, you know, conservative ideals where it's like sex bad, you know? You came into blowjobs? Hell yeah, mother trucker. <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. Yeah. 
imagination is better in some cases yeah but i i think more my point is like oh we should not be afraid to talk about sex with just about anybody right like and being afraid of talk or not being afraid of talking about sex does not mean that you have to like you know talk about it all the time or like leave no mystery right when you're talking with like you know a, a partner or whatever but like um I'm trying to think of a good example. Because, like, the thing is, there's a lot of shit that can be considered part of talking about sex, right? Like, um... Actually, here's a great example. Dudes being afraid to go buy, uh... And I hate that I'm gonna... Okay, I'm not even gonna call it that. Tampons or pads for their ladies. Like, what the fuck, man? It sh that should be a normal course of life. Like, if you're, if you're a cis-hetero dude and you have a lady friend, then, like, just buy them the shit when you go to the store. Like, what the fuck is the big deal, man? Uh, let's see, 30 and just figured out I'm uh, on the asexual spectrum. For years, I thought it was broken. No, man. Like, but I feel you. I feel you. What is an... Oh, oh, OnlyFans. OnlyFans. I was like, what the fuck is an OF? I thought that was some term that I had never heard before. Why did I come back here? Did I need walls? I might. Oh, all right. I'm going to start walling. Oh, I, I, I came back for explosives. Right. All right. Well, I'm, I'm still going to start putting down walls. Moose obnoxiously. What's up, obnoxious cow? Also known as killer's assist. Wait, have you ever heard the joke? Uh, wait, here, I'll, I'll do it with Vandris. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Let me make sure I heard that properly. What What was it you said? Interrupting cow. Interrupting Moo. cow who? Gosh darn it. <laughs> I knew it was coming too. I was like, did he say what I think he said? <laughs> Let me, just, let me just clarify on that. Oh, oh man. I know, the silence was so good because I was waiting for it. Like, I was just, I was picturing around the other end going. Just like blinking. <laughs> like, how is this going to screw me? Yeah. <laughs> Interrupting cow, you. What? What? Yeah, well, I'm not going to answer that. Yeah, that was Vandris. That was a million percent Vandris. Close the door. Yeah, there you go. Just close the door. But yeah, Mother Trucker, we were talking about normalizing talk of sex. Because, like, it's... I don't know. The way I feel is that it, it, it shouldn't be this, like, taboo thing, you know? Yeah, from blowjobs to rude cows, exactly. <laughs> oh. It is a wide spectrum. We talk about a lot of weird shit here. I, although it shouldn't be weird. Every time a dick comes around, the topic goes to sex. Listen, man, if given the opportunity, I will talk about sex. Like, who doesn't like talking about something you have a good time doing, right? For real. Ah, okay, no worries, Xanus. It, it may be that I have to talk to Allie about possibly setting up a server so that we can not have the lag for you guys. Hell yeah, dude. See, I'm not getting lag, though, so it might not be mm. a thing with you. It might be a thing with Xanus' internet. Dude, sex can be exhausting, but it is also a lot of fun. Let, let's be real. And it should be done responsibly, youngins. Do it responsibly. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of torn because there's a topic that I want to bring up, but I know that you and I talked about it a little bit, and I don't want to put you on the spot. Um, so, like, would you be okay if I brought up a topic and you just didn't necessarily... Count? Like, I, I don't want to exclude you is the other thing. So, like, you know what? I just won't bring it up. I'll bring it up some other time. 
No, dude, it's fine. Just go. You in. sure? Because well, the thing is, I don't want to exclude you, man. And this is like this is no, you it, and me time. It's... Yeah, no, it's fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. All right. So the other day in ladies' stream, somebody mentioned, um, and I, I want to get people's opinions on this. Okay. Somebody mentioned that there's a game that came out with a remaster that got some blowback um, or some pushback, some pushback, at, well, whatever the term is. The people were annoyed um, because they were saying that it has a transphobic scene in it where, like, this dude goes to bed with a lady and then, like, wakes up and finds out that this lady has man bits. And uh, that they're, like, super shocked. And um, I was, you know, we were kind of discussing a little bit, and my opinion on it was... If we're trying to normalize trans people, we can't be uh, freaked out when we encounter a trans person. But by the same token, I also understand that people who are not used to this would also be like, you know, it, it would be hard to not have that reaction. But in a piece of media, I don't really see what the purpose of that reaction is aside from, I don't know. Like, it feels like it, it's it's an unnormalized behavior for trans stuff. I, 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 does that make any sense? Well, and the other thing was, like, you know, I, I made a point of saying, um, you know, everyone is is totally entitled to their their preference. Like, you know, I would prefer Lady Bits. So, like, you know, that's not really for me. And uh, I think the other thing that annoyed me about it was, um, or that I thought was possibly transphobic, which I don't think I mentioned at the time, but it is it is a, a view that I hold on the subject. That, um, and now I've lost my thought. Fuck. Um, oh, right. So there, there was, like, a... Uh, a thing that you're down with both? Fuck yeah. <laughs> um, you know, there was there was this garbage thought for a while, and I'm sure it's still pervasive now among certain circles of assholes, that like trans people try to trick hetero people into sex with them, and I think that was the other part of it that like the trans community was like, fuck that, that's bullshit. Because that's not, like, nobody wants to trick somebody else into that kind of stuff other than, like, fucking weirdos, right? Like, the, 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 the most, like, the greatest part about sex is that somebody wants you, right? And that's not going to happen if you're, like, if you're tricking people, you know what I mean? What, tech, I, that I don't know. I, I was only given a, a slight amount of context. But, I mean, like, what do you all think about that? Like, the idea that, you know, if we're trying to normalize trans people, we can't be, like, freaked out when we see one. You know? Like, when we encounter somebody that should be normalized. Because, it, it, to me, it's, it's like, um, it's like seeing any other group of people, right? They're just people. I don't know. Am I, am I like, super off the mark? And again, like, like I said before, everybody has the right to liking what they like. And, you know, nobody can force you to change your mind. And nobody should try to force you to change your mind. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Killer. That That's that's my perspective. And also, like, I, I just, I don't feel like, I don't know. The older I get, the more I'm just like, I don't think I'd really care. <laughs> I found the person attractive. And if I don't really give a shit what, what stuff they've got, you know? If it's tactfully done, then they should be included, but they shouldn't be fetishized or made... To... Yeah, no, I, I very much agree with you, Liza. I very much agree with you. All right, lady. It was very nice to see you. Thank you again for the raid. Thank you there, baby. Thank you very, very much. I hope you have a very lovely evening. Um, and uh, I'll see you soon, hopefully. Yeah, exactly. People are people, man. Okay, yeah, I can totally understand that. That's one of those things that I'm kind of like, I don't know how to handle that particular aspect of it, because I would also want to know. But I suppose that also kind of goes into the idea of, like, we have these preconceived notions of what should be, quote-unquote should, and, like, when those are upended, then it gets weird for, for us. And by us, I mean, like, you know, people who, I don't know, people who are not part of that group, right? 
Um, so I don't really know. I don't really know. But my, my base instinct is just to say, like... I don't know, like... Well, I guess my, my base instinct is I have no fucking idea, man. Because, like, I mean... What? Uh-oh. Um, shit's dying. Ouch. Uh, I'm gonna have to go deal with that. If you're engaging sexual intercourse at some point during the relationship, maybe have a conversation. But, like, otherwise, y'all just peeps doing things with to each other. But I'm also a straight white guy, so what the fuck do I know? <laughs> See, that's the other thing, is that I'm, you know, I'm here asking these questions because I don't know if we have any people that are of that community here in chat. And if they are, please feel free to speak up. And I swear to God, if anybody says anything negative towards you, I will ban them immediately. Because, like, I, I really want this to feel like a place where people from, you know, different walks of life can feel comfortable. Unless you're a cockbag, and in that case, I hope you feel super uncomfortable and you just sit there and listen and learn something. Okay. Because, like, we... My, my, my wife and I know a few people in, in the community, but, like, it's more... There are more people that she's met because, like, she actually, you know, goes out and, like, meets people and stuff, whereas I'm usually very much just home all the time. Give me the ban... No, I refuse. I will not give you the ban hammer. The fuck was that? Um. Okay. No, see that? <laughs> no, I, I refuse. But, it, okay, suddenly Mother Trucker is doing a zombie. Do you see this? I do. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Media inclusion is necessary for the topic of conversation to be brought up. Hmm. You're, you're, it, it, so earlier in Vandress' stream, Zombie was uh, was asking to be banned, is what it comes down to. Oh, shit. Oh, it was Lady stream, but same difference. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's just, like, it's one of those things where I don't really know exactly how to approach it. Although, like, I mean, honestly, I feel like two respectful people are not necessarily going to be, like, doing, like, you know, weird garbage things like that, where they're just going to be, you know, like, hiding shit from each other and whatever. So I feel like if you're, if you, like, people just try, shouldn't try to fucking fool each other, you know what I mean? Like, just be o open and honest. And if the other person rejects you, then, like, you know, and they're, and they're an asshole about it, then, you know, you fucking dodged a bullet. By not being around that person anymore. But also I understand that that's, that's a difficult thing for a group of marginalized people. Like, you know, being, being rejected fucking sucks. And especially when you're in a group that is, by so many other people, like, just treated very horribly. And I feel for, for all these people, but, yeah. Yeah. Yes, that is Vandy's voice you hear. Vandy, Vandy is here. This is I so was, Wednesday nights are. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just saying I was here. Oh, okay. Uh, Wednesday nights are our our game time where we play stuff together. <sighs> oh wow! I just almost got run over. Where the fuck? Where is that? There it is. Where the hell am I? Oh, God. Dude, thank you, killer. Thank you very much. 
Dude, for real though, right? Do you see what do you see what mom's saying about you? I did, and now I'm all blushing. <laughs> Especially because, like, right now, like, I've been apologizing to everybody because it's allergy season, so I've yeah. been, like, so... <sighs> What's the word I'm look? I don't know. Like, it's not nasally, but, like... No, I got you. Like, you, you my feel... My voice has definitely been lower than normal yeah. because... Yeah. I mean, I already have kind of a low voice, but it's been even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma got run over by a ranger has been stuck in your head. All right. No, that's fair. You've officially beaten the game called Elden Ring now. Yes, yes, I have. Husky, a husky voice, like, uh, like, um, God, what the hell's the name of that woman? Catherine. That's, that's exactly what I was thinking of, Sanus. Yeah, it's it sounds like I've been something. smoking a pack of cigarettes when I I don't smoke cigarettes. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Dude, she she cry now. She cry now. You all happy, you monsters? She cry. Oh fuck, man! They busted up our shit real good down here. <laughs> all right. I think we need more laser turrets over here. So I'm gonna do that. You had a great cry the other day? What happened? Dude, for real, same, same. I'm very I'm very much looking forward to the day when I can finally just, like, work from home again. And not have to worry about all this, you know, going to the office bullshit. Because for real, going to the office is garbage. Oh, dude, I I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm also glad that it's, it's you know, that doing so is helping you, you know? Oof, yeah, no, I feel that too, I feel that too. It it's weird how sometimes grief hits you, right? Like, um, so I feel comfortable talking about this now because of uh, the diagnosis that we just got. Um, but, uh... Not too long ago, my mom was diagnosed with cancer. And, um... She went to have surgery, and things have been going pretty well. Um... And so, uh... Recently, she was told by the oncologist that, you know, like, they still... They're, they're fairly certain they got all of it when they did the surgery. And that they are, you know, now giving... Like, they have other treatments that they want to look at. And, um, you know, now it's up to her what she wants to do. But, like, for fucking weeks, it was just, like, randomly these waves of, like, terror and sadness and just, like, fear for the future, which just hit me out of nowhere. Like, there were times where I basically just, at, well, at work... I just had to kind of excuse myself, go in the bathroom, and just, like, sob for, like, five minutes, you know? But uh, I say all that to say that, um, you know, everybody processes in their own way, and sometimes sadness just kind of hits you out of nowhere, and that's totally fine, you know? That's another thing we need to, to normalize is, like, people feeling emotional reactions to shit, because it's... It, it's it's the this toxic masculinity shit that's like if dudes cry then you know they suck and it's like that's not how it is man honestly if a dude like refuses to cry that's a bigger red flag than anything else thank you guys thank you um yeah jesus i mean i don't remember how long ago it was that uh she told me it was like it was actually like right after i recovered from covid she told me um so, God, that's, like, more than a month ago? That sounds about right. Yeah. It was around the time 
I think you were still dealing with COVID a bit because I remember yeah. you weren't able to go see her right away. And you were that's very, what it, very. Upset. That's what it was. It was just before I caught it. It was yeah. It was it yeah. was right around that time. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Dude, for real, same Oscar. Like, you know, there are just pieces of music that will, like, remind me of someone, or uh, more often than not, it's one of my cats that I've lost over the years, you know, due to, like, old age or whatever. And, like, you know, when you, when you feel the emotion, sometimes it's just it's just best to, like, let it do, the, do its thing, right? Dude, same. Like, okay, my wife does not get overly emotional at stuff. I do. Like... It doesn't fucking matter if it's... It can just be, like, a kid's movie that we're watching. And, like, just the way the music hits and, like, something the characters are doing, for whatever reason, it just hits my brain different than most people. And, like, my lip starts to quiver and I'm just like, God damn it. <laughs> like, especially when it's just something that shouldn't even be emotional, you know what I mean? You stop at the silliest things. Dude, same. And you know what? I, I think that being able to admit it is is very, very powerful, right? To just, like, to, to know that about yourself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, what the hell? Damn it. Well, now I'm just annoyed. Dude, same, same. Like, uh, you know, what was it? There, there was, um, who was, was asking me this? I think it was my sister in law. Uh, wait, I think that's what she technically is. But uh, so um, my my sister in law, so my my brother in law's wife. Um, a lot of times when there are family get-togethers, like before COVID, because then we didn't really see each other like at all. Um, we would uh, we would always talk about stuff, and she had asked me of like because I, I was talking to her about some of my favorite games and like why I like them so much. So I talked about Dark Souls and like Soma, and she was like, "Why do you like games that you know?" cause so like that these these it, that is very cute vanders cause these like you know super emotional reactions or like you know that are um have these extraordinarily sad stories and uh let's see apparently comcast is being a oh dude i'm sorry to hear that all right sanus i I'm, I'm really sorry that uh that it's being a butthole but I mean, it was nice to have you while you were here. The one in the back has the pew. The one in the back has the pew. Schwat? He's talking about the picture of the three raccoons. Oh! Because, yeah, so he's <laughs> saying that the one is the back. The one in the back is the one that holds the, the Vander pew. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, I understand now. I understand. Part of the Vander Lore is one of the yeah. three trash pandas, specifically the middle one, yeah. is the one that has the gun. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so, um, what I was saying is, uh, you know, she was asking me, like, why it is that I like these, I like uh, games and whatnot, and, like, um, books that have, like, these really tragic or sad stories. And I was like, because, you know, it allows you to experience those emotions kind of in a safe way, right? Or not in a safe way, but like in in a in an environment where um, it doesn't really have a full impact on you, if that makes sense. So like you kind of experience those things without the actual loss, if that makes sense. Um, like in Soma, the idea of completely losing your sense of self, you know, like all that kind of stuff. 
up topic, but I post. I love Yo. your Mori playthrough so much. Like, I really yeah. want to get a Mori now and play it. It's so that, good, dude. That game was so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, my lord. And, well, the thing is, like, it's much like Soma, and this is one of the other reasons why I love these games, is, like, the, the juxtaposition of, like, yes, Omori is beautiful, but it is also horrifying and disgusting at the same time, which is, I, I love those combinations of things. Um, yeah, exactly. Your life isn't in shambles afterwards. Very well put, Liza. And, yes, Mother Trucker, I saw those food pics and the clip. Dude, I, okay, so I mentioned them both last night while I was streaming. The food looked so good and the view i was just like I, honestly i was like just tell me where you live so i can come there and see this because like i want to eat this food and i want to see that view like for real i mean don't actually tell me where you live because like i'm pretty sure that's against twitch tos but y you know what i'm saying i think but yeah I, I like games that touch on difficult subjects in a kind of respectful way like, uh, what's another? Oh my god. Um, Hellblade. Hellblade is such a wonderful game. And I know that there's a lot of people that don't like it, but, and I feel like the reason is because they don't really understand why it is the way it is and why the game lies to you. That was fresh flounder and uh, redfish. Oh, damn. <laughs> Dude, excellent, excellent. Okay. Um, I, and I, when, when they are here, I would like to make it very clear, like, you know, I'm going to ask a lot of questions, or at least I'm hoping to ask a lot of questions, and I mean, I do not mean any of them in a disrespectful way, but if I do say something that is disrespectful on accident, I would love to know. So, uh, I can, you know, be better about it in the future. Because, like, you know, there's, a, nobody knows everything, and, like, yeah. That view is our bet. You guys have a bed and breakfast? Yo. Yo. Wait, for real? I've always low-key really wanted a bed and breakfast. Like, I feel like that just sat, like, I want to I wanna make brownies or, like, muffins for people. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, Majestic. We'll see you later, man. You have a good one. Good night, Majestic. It was very good seeing you, my friend. Pure grits are on the list of foods to have in Alabama before you... Really? Okay. So I've never been to Alabama, and I will confess it is one of the states that I usually pick on a little bit, but at the same time, like, I feel like Alabama is one of those places that has really awesome, like, nature stuff, which is something that my wife and I are so pogged about, man. Like... And I actually, I really shouldn't make fun of other states. I mean, just really the some of the politicians, because some of them suck really bad. But Ooh, um, does that mean mom's close to me? Mom, does that mean you're close to me? You know what? Let me look it up on the United States map because I'm bad at geography. <laughs> I'm pretty sure um, Alabama's just south of Georgia. Um, let's see. Open image in new tab. The, uh, Bama is just uh, west of Georgia. Oh, okay. Because just south of Georgia is Florida. I, mean, I know I know that one of our borders touches it. So, like, I just didn't know. <laughs> Please make fun of Ohio. Just, you should. Okay, I'll make fun of Ohio. I mean, who's actually from Ohio, right? But so, if... when I lived in Kentucky, I had friends that used to call people from Ohio FIFOs. F-I-F-O. Fucking idiots from Ohio. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love that way more uh, than I should. <laughs> like, it, and I hate it because I have so many friends in Ohio. That's... <laughs> and I have so many friends in Kentucky. Uh, but yeah. Oh. No, it's true. No, you're not wrong, Killer. You're not wrong. Also, same with Georgia. Yeah. Georgia, yeah. so Georgia, if you're driving down 75, the speed limit, like, is 75. And if you're not going anything, you, you have to be going at least, like, 90. Or people are going to be so mad. FIFO. <laughs> I thought it was going to have something to do with soccer because of FIFA. And then yeah. I realized, nope. No. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, Georgia, you have to be speeding. And yeah. it's bad because it's like nobody can drive here. So you just have a whole bunch of idiots going really fast. <laughs> it's just terrible. I, honestly, we I are, feel like almost anywhere you go, there's going to be shitty drivers. Well, no, like we are genuinely one of the highest uh states for car crashes like really it, it, yeah like it's really bad we're also one of the highest states for pedestrians getting hit by cars since i've lived here i've seen three people get hit by a car do we need more plastic i don't think that we would be sad about more plastic lisa the thing is is mass holes can drive fast but they know how to fucking drive no they don't don't put that no, on us no come down to georgia i have been down to georgia me, like it's it's I, a world of difference. No, I I understand, but mass holes are are a very different kind of. It, shitty it is driver. a very different type. It, it's a very different type of driving up well, there. Let You're me let wrong. me describe it's mass very holes. Aggressive. Let, let very, me describe a mass hole perspective, and I I found this hilarious. So my wife's uh, aunt was talking about when they used to live in Colorado, and she was like. People don't know how to drive in the Midwest. They actually follow the rules of the road. Her words, not mine. And I was like, what do you mean they don't know how to drive, comma, they follow the rules of the road? <laughs> like, that's, oh, God. Yeah, see, that that's, yeah, that's, that, that's, that's some, uh mom's right on that yeah i've i've, I've driven through yeah. bama and there's some really fucked up cars on the road <laughs> i have no doubt whatsoever i have zero <laughs> doubt kentucky's kind of the same way too though kentucky you can pretty <laughs> much drive anything they do not care that that scares me i know that change in music was not scripted i didn't even notice weeks to set up behind the scenes yeah <laughs> Yo, what? You can put down... Oh my god, you can actually plan out putting down landfill. Yeah. Yeah, that's, this is, that's what I've been working on, yeah. It's cool. Yeah, very good. Very good. Thanks. Being a... Oh my god, I can only imagine. I can only imagine, dude. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, leave the trash pan at a place landfill. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what do you what do you mean killer <laughs> what do you what are you what are you trying to say <laughs> oh what fuck are you, what are you hinting at there sir <laughs> that was that was probably oh. like one of the funniest things i think i've ever seen killer say oh yeah no that's so good <laughs> i loved that so much dude I, okay can i just tell you something i'm still on fifo right now like my brain you really, you really you really like that yeah oh my god man it just hits different like for real <laughs> well, i'm glad I'm it glad just hits like different it. my brain is just like it, it's going a million miles an hour about fifo first in first out no uh what'd you call it fucking idiots from ohio yeah <laughs> yeah because like i can't take credit for it yeah let, let's be like real I though said, fifo very different from fifo Kentucky. wait what was that well, uh, because uh, what what uh, Ali Astra is talking about is um, an accounting thing, and also I, I'm pretty sure it, it actually goes with a lot of other stuff too, like uh, probably programming in some ways. But um, it, it's basically like a, an inventory control method and tax uh, for for taxes. Is there a way to speed up the electric mining bills? I thought you were saying at some point there's like stuff to, to do. To speed up the what? Electric mining drills. Um, there's research for it. Okay, because it says productivity plus 20%, so I was wondering. I was like, okay, it makes it okay. seem like I could boost this. I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm a little nervous. It's like I don't want to. I don't want to offend anybody, and that is certainly not my goal. But I just like you, because you know, I mean, you know how it is. Sometimes you're you're just like you're worried that you're gonna like you you think you've thought something through, but then like when it comes to the actual moment, you're like, oh fuck. 
You don't see Aliastro? No, Aliastro is just in the game. Although they might be in chat as well, I don't know. Yellow armor. Hell yeah, there they are. Okay, so after we finish Factory, I have question. I have I have question for you. Me? Or were you talking to Allie? You. Me? Okay. The the wee tiny minuscule Vandy. The the, <laughs> the extremely I don't, I don't... microscopic Vandris. <laughs> I love how, how the Wee Vandy has turned into a thing because of Portal, of all things. Well, because, no, 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 part of it was, uh, well, okay, actually, no, 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 Wee Vandy came about because of RimWorld. Was that what it was? Yes, because I had all the raccoons being oh, named the raccoon permutations army. of Vandris, and the, oh. one of them had a baby, and I was like, what do I name it? The Wee Vandy. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. See, I always think of RimWorld when I think of the raccoons was the one time I was playing RimWorld. And a meteorite just came in out of nowhere and hit the one raccoon that no! was on my <laughs> That's I was awful. so sad. I would be too, man. That sucks. I but was yeah. so sad. Yeah, dude, Santa's, I was not kidding. Like, Georgia, like, they cannot drive here. It's scary. Oof. It is, it is genuinely scary. You can get your, you can get your license online. What? Yes, yeah, someone was telling me this at a previous uh, job that that when they turned eighteen, they were able to just get their license okay. online. So they like, did not have to go test I, for it. I swear. I can renew my license online sometimes, <laughs> but that is bonkers. Right? <laughs> Dude, I've been driving to work in the morning and seen, like, people just, like, watching Netflix oh. on their phone. DJ Ponytail. All right, so, um, when I was saying that I was worried, it's mostly because, like, I sometimes, like, okay, l let me just, let me put it this way. I, I have the thoughts, and I want to express them in just a way for me to gain knowledge, right? And what I worry about is I don't want to phrase things in a way that is uh, offensive. Um, so actually, let me turn my music down because I actually like I really really want to because like I, I want to understand stuff, right? I don't. I am not here to tell you anything about your your community at all. Um, I I am I I am just very appreciative that you are even here to field questions because I want to know things. Oh no no absolutely you're not the exactly you are no one is a monolith no one is a monolith, um, but I even I, I very much appreciate you even taking the time to to come here and like. Okay, so let me let me just let, let me put this out let me just put this out here like what what I what we were talking about. So, <coughs> apparently there was this like remaster of a video game where there's a scene where this guy like goes to bed with a lady and then gets up and she has like man parts which is like whatever dude. I don't really care. But people were saying that's transphobic. And I was like, yeah, it is. Because, you know, to me, because the guy was also shocked. Like, not that that's the that's the part that I think is kind of transphobic, is that he was like, oh, you know. And also, and the reason that I say that, I have to calm down because I'm starting to speak too fast and get ahead of myself. Um, the reason that I say that is because I feel like if trans people are, are, are going to be normalized, which I think they should be because they're just people, then we can't be surprised when we encounter a trans person. But at the same time, I also feel like the game is being kind of shitty in that they're kind of continuing that stereotype of, like, gay and trans and other people that are not cis het people uh, trying to fool others into sexual encounters. And it's like, nobody fucking does that. Like, nobody does that. So that led into a whole other conversation about, like, how do you approach that with someone when you're, like, out on a date and it's going towards that whole thing where, like, you're going to possibly you know be intimate with another person like how is that approached because me personally the way that i see it and this this is something that i've kind of come to the conclusion of as i've gotten older is like if i was on a date with someone i'm already attracted to them i don't really care what they have you know like and first off like i i hate the idea well you know what I, i'm just gonna i'm just gonna shut up and just like i'm just gonna let you process 
all the words I just threw at you really fast. And uh, hopefully get your feedback because I... And I, I very much apologize if anything comes across as uh, as rude. And if it does, please let me know because I don't, I don't always like I I, will, I try to think what I want to say through, and then I always worry that I haven't thought it through as well as I could. Um. Okay, wonderful. I I'm very relieved to hear that because I I, I really like. Basically, I want to be respectful of anybody that's, you know, it's as long as you haven't been an asshole, like, it is, you know, as far as I'm concerned, you deserve my respect, so, you know. And I don't mean, like, you know, okay, you're, I think you already know what I mean. I don't have to explain myself. I always feel like whenever I try to explain myself more, I always get myself into a deeper hole, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vandy, right? Oh, I know what you mean. <laughs> Because, like, you know, it, in one way, I'm like, I can understand that at least now, like, the way things are in the world now or previously, it might be shocking for people, like, if they've never heard that, uh, you know, trans people exist or whatever. But at the same time, it's like, okay, but again, they're just people, and what the fuck does it really matter? But I also understand that, like, you have your preference for, you know, stuff, and nobody should be shamed for having their preference as so long as they're not being a cockbag about it. Um... If you're post up and pass, uh... oh, okay, okay. The what you mean it is no, <laughs> thank you, Ellie. Okay, so that that's, I mean, I think that makes a lot of sense. Because honestly, like, what the fuck does it matter, right? In, in the end, like, what does it really fucking matter? You know. So thank you very much for, for 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 answering that. And if anybody else has any other, you know, questions, you know, because like I'll, I'll be real, when when Killer was like, "Get your questions ready," my brain was like, "I've been commanded to get them ready, and therefore I cannot." Because <laughs> for whatever reason, when the pressure's when the pressure is on, my brain just shuts down and is like, "You know what? No." Um. But like, but actually, I guess, well. Oh, what the hell? There's just a fucking random worm in here. That was weird. No, 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 it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's just totally how my brain is. Where like, the moment the pressure's on, my brain just shuts down and is like, I refuse to do anything now. It, it's honestly more a problem with my own gray matter than anything else. Um... It's totally a person-to-person -person call, though. I got super lucky. My partner saw uh, white mode, and then later, same day in girl mode, and there was absolutely no question. Dude, that's... Dude, that's sick. Yeah, yeah. Well, exactly, and that, that's the other thing is, like, I, I feel like um, the more we give in to this idea that, um, like, we would feel disrespected or, like, you know, put off by it, I don't know, it just, it feels like it's... <sighs> I don't know how to express what I'm feeling and thinking at the moment, like, um... Dude, I think that's a very good point. Do you keep secrets from people? Yeah. So it, it was actually something that I brought up to my wife the other day, and she was like, yeah, like, you know, so long as you're, you know, like, the, the whole idea of keeping secrets is really the bad part, right? You know, and... Because I, I, I guess, not, not apprehension on my part, but more... I'm getting so lost in my thoughts. Uh... A part of my wondering and, like, the not fully getting, like, not fully understood, or not uh, be being able to really suss out everything is that, um, you know, there's been so much stigma 
in the past, and now that we're finally starting to see some of that go away, it's like I, I don't know how much of that has really changed, and so I just you know I, I th there's there's a lot I don't know, you know. And it, it, it's stuff that I would like to know. It says something is wrong about society feeling put off by gender expectations. Yeah, I, well, I feel the same way. Like, why is it that when we see somebody with, like, you know, long hair and any kind of hips that we're like, ah, that's a lady. Like, that's not, that's not how fucking shit works. Like, <laughs> I have known many men with large hips and long hair. Like, I don't understand why we have... It's the same thing like we were talking about before with, like, gender gender conformity, etc. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, there are intersex people. You know, there are people that don't necessarily... Like, we have non-binary people. Like, I don't understand why we have these... I mean, well, I understand why they exist. But I don't understand why they continue to... Sorry, I understand why they existed. I don't understand why they continue to exist. When we have all this other knowledge. Um... If you were born one way, get dysphoric as fuck, got surgery, etc., you may not want to bring up the past at all. On the other hand, if you're open, uh, if you open up someone, yeah, and okay, fair, fair, beep boop, factory, fact, factory, oh factory, yes, yes, what's up, flame? Factory stream detected, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I don't know, man. Like, I, I just, I feel like it's, it's a constant. Like, there, there's a lot of gray area, partially because of, as a consequence of how, quite frankly, conservative are well, we, we've been in the United States for so long, right? And it's difficult to get past a lot of that. Yeah, exactly. And also, like, if this conversation makes anybody uncomfortable, like, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> like, I, I, if, if, if you're not a jerk, then uh, sorry, it makes you a little uncomfortable. I understand because, like, I totally would have been uncomfortable with this conversation long ago. But, um, you know, also not sorry because, like, these people, people exist. Why are we so weird about it, right? What's up, Waji? I don't know. Oftentimes I feel like I have not different perspectives, but, like, I don't know. I blame all people for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Context matters. If you live in a blue state, I might uh, be happy to put a trans flag on my Tinder profile, but in a red state, I might want to take it. Oh, yeah, very much. Very much. Okay, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, and like, I, I don't know, man. Like, just. I just don't know why we got to put so much sauce on just like. Somebody loves somebody else. Why the fuck do any of us care? You know, like, just leave them alone. It's you, biology? I don't know what you mean by that, typical. Because if, if, uh... I mean, if, you, if you're saying what I think you're saying, then, like, I'm I'm with you. Like, the, the argument of you, biology, is, is fucking stupid. Because the, all the people that use it actually have no idea what they're talking about. You were drinking less, so I'd rather not. <laughs> wait, 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 Oh, oh, I see. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, it, it respect and or not, uh, 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 yeah, respect and intention is what really counts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. It's like for real, you know. Like, I, I, you know, when someone lies to you, that that fucking sucks, right? No one ahead, therefore look for Hardy. Oh no. Listen, we're not in Elden Ring message mode. No, that, it, listen, typical, that doesn't mean it's none of your business. That just means you, you, there's, thing, there's something you don't know. And that just means that there's an opportunity for growth, right? At least that's how I look for it. That, that's how I look at things like that. You know, when, when you don't know something and someone else does, there's an opportunity for growth where you can, you know, learn from those people, Right? What, what I find horrendous is when someone doesn't know something and they use that as an opportunity for hatred 
or discrimination. You know, like that that is the worst response to not knowing something. Whereas if you don't know something like okay. Great example, and I know I've used this on stream before. Long ago, actually not too long ago, and I think about it, it was maybe like a couple years ago. I was talking to my wife about the idea of uh, you know, younger kids transitioning, and I was like, you know, I don't know if I would really be comfortable with it, not because I'm like not okay with trans people, but because you know, kids are stupid and they sometimes don't make very good decisions for themselves. And then she was like, yeah, except that there's like rigorous psychological testing that you go through before you do transition. And like, it can also be undone. And I was like, oh, I had no idea. And then just to verify for myself, you know, I went and looked it up online and was like, holy shit, how did I miss all this shit? And then that completely changed my perspective. You know, it was like, I have absolutely no problem with this now. Like zero issue. And plus... It's not for me to decide anyway. Like, I, I, you know, if, if... It wouldn't be for me to decide anyhow, because it's none of my goddamn business messing with what somebody else is doing for themselves, right? You recently watched Taboo? What is Taboo? Yeah, getting someone's shoes to figure out uh, why they feel or think the way they do. Exactly, man. Yeah, exactly, Flame. People who use biology as an excuse would lose their shit if they actually, like, looked at the actual science. Right? It's, it's kind of amazing how that happens. Alright, I think there are, our wall is nearly complete up here. So we should at least be able to defend the bots while they're doing work. But DJ, thank you very much for coming over and answering our questions and, like, you know, just... E even so much as putting up with the questions, because I know it's not always... Like, th this kind of stuff isn't always easy, so... I really appreciate you coming by. And Killer, I also really appreciate you reaching out. Because, like, I mean... I, I, am, I am very horny for, you know, getting my questions <laughs> answered, so, like... Um... Yeah, if, if y'all can put some love for DJ, please, that would be wonderful. Like, hugs, you know, or if, if they're cool with hugs, hearts, whatever. Human, wait. Dude, for real, I don't know why this, sh like, I, I remember um, some time ago when, uh, um, God, it was in the Splunky two days, and somebody came in, and because uh, I had like a no politics thing, like a, a no politics uh, tag on the on the stream, and somebody came in and asked if we could talk about trans issues, and at first I was like, if and if I thought that was political, and I had to think about it for a second, and then I was like, you know, at first I was like, oh, I don't know, and then I was like, no, it's not political. Trans rights are human rights. Like I don't know why this is, I don't know why anybody's being fucking weird about it. Horny lore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you accept... Co yeah, there we go. Kako Demons. Poggers. Yeah. That That's very true, Waji. That's very true. There is, there is injustice all over the world, and I really just... I don't know why... I don't know why, man. I mean, other than that there are people who are dickheads, you know? <laughs> Hell yeah, man. See, this is the other thing is like, you know, when I feel like part of the reason that I would consider this a fairly healthy dialogue is that we were all willing to listen and not judge. Now, I do want to make the comment, though, that if we were, say, talking to, like, a eugenicist, there's a lot of room for judgment. And by a lot of room, I mean there is no room for listening and all room for judgment. Like, if you're a eugenicist, just get the fuck out of here, please. For real, if, if, if you believe in eugenics, just unfollow me right now, please. Actually, no, you know what? Stick around. Maybe you learn something. Maybe you learn something. Just, you know, don't talk. <laughs> Just listen. 
ratio of dickheads to decent person out there is pretty difficult. It, it, it can be, yeah. But I feel like, uh, you know, one of the best things you can do is surround yourself with positive people and people who are just, you know, is it okay if I'm a huge ge genesis? <laughs> wait, wait, uh, oh, what? <laughs> exactly, 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 Oscar. Some opinions are shitty and just do not require respect. Yes, very well put. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, you, you, then that's why I felt safe using it as an example of garbage, because it is straight up only garbage. That, that is, that is the oops all garbage of, of, uh, thoughts. And it still blows me away that there are people that actually believe that that shit is, like, good. <laughs> like, it's just, man, I don't know why people gotta go back to, like, you know, the 20s and the 30s and be like, mm, these ideas were really good, why didn't we try them out? Like, no, they've already been shown to be trash, that's why nobody fucking talks about them anymore you know other than to say that they're fucking garbage yeah I, I listen I I try to be I try to be good boy you know I try to be very good boy despite the amount that I harass Vandris I try to be good boy right Vandy and trust me that's a lot <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah well what can I say <laughs> <laughs> we Wee! <laughs> oh. I actually didn't know that you thought Everyone that that was the cause that of Wee Vandy. That they just bully, you know. And uh, it's, it's not bullying. <laughs> if it's gotta be me, then you know what? I will. What? I will. I just I heard myself. Oh. I okay. I because it sounds like it's echoing a little bit. I wonder if there's like your webcam or something. No, your webcam would just have no. uh, a mic. Yeah, and plus I've I've fully disabled it through the sound. Um. <laughs> so right on that one. Fuck yeah, man! Fuck yeah, <laughs> dude! Killer's good what peeps, you mean, though. Lazy. I don't know what you mean. I've, no. I've never been known to ever do something like that. Uh huh. Sure. That's some that's some sussy right there. That's some big sussy. That's a sussy ussy. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I'm I'm very glad to have you here. Like, uh, and honestly, if if ever you uh, feel, if if ever you stop by and you hear me say something that you're like, mm, that's kind of fucked. Please, like, feel free to DM me and tell me, or just tell me out out loud. Like, because you know, sometimes I don't always think things through. So, like, I and I want to. I, I always look at things like I want to be the best person I possibly can be, and sometimes what that means is I have to recognize. Well, actually, a lot of times what that means is I have to recognize when I've uh, said or done something stupid, and I have to correct it for the future. You know, it's because you're not on Twitch. Ah, man, I don't remember <laughs> the days anymore where I wasn't on Twitch. Like that seems like I know, right? <laughs> so long ago. Like my life literally revolves around Twitch now. Yeah. Like, wow. I'll be real, there was a while where I actually thought about not doing YouTube anymore and just doing Twitch. Really? Yeah. I still think about it from time to time. Because I feel like this is a much, like, I don't know, I, I feel like Twitch is a, is a more fun medium. Can we just talk about how perfect Lazy <laughs> is and we must protect him at all costs? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. A million like, percent. I love Lazy so much. Oh, yeah. How was Ireland's birthday? That sweet kitty. Yeah, there's also, like, let's get some pogs for cats, man. Cats are wonderful. I actually, I, I have a, a little picture of my cat on my desk at work. In a little picture frame that just says, uh, life is better with cats. I love that so much. Ah, I see. I mean, I, I vaguely understood a lot of the tech stuff. Not entirely. You only have time to get close to killer. Oh God. Is is this gonna be like your your freaking no aim uh, standing? <laughs> hey, they have a they have quite a bromance, okay? Uh, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Like, every time Port defends the, the not reading, I'm just like, yep, here we go. 
<laughs> it's so like at this point it's just so funny. Like I'm 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 down for it. <laughs> Dude, I okay. I totally understand that my my computer was good in the Windows eight days because I I literally like just upgraded from eight to ten, and my previous computer like I, I upgraded specifically for Elden Ring, pretty much. <laughs> Might upload some pics tomorrow, dude. Poggers. Pics of what though? Is it gonna be more uh, more pog ass asado? Life is better with cats. It really is. My, my sweet Cassie is very wonderful. Let, let's get some. Let's get some Cassie going. Just, just a little Cassie right there. I'm gonna say, at least from my personal view, you do a really good job uh, considering other people's opinion um, and what they might think, given where they are from and what they might. Sorry, Chad is scrolling up, so it's hard for me to keep track. Um, might have been through, and that's been very clear to me through your DMs. And general communication over the channel. So, sir, dude, I, I I really appreciate that, Wadi, because like I do try. I know I fail sometimes, um, but I really do try like very very hard to be as um, open and receptive as possible. I think the the times when I have a lot of trouble with that is when somebody starts off from an aggro position, and then I have a really hard time like getting into the, or like when somebody starts off from a position of like um, disrespect or hatred, then I'm just like. Wait, did Oscar say they were going? Oh, well, good night, Oscar. You have a good one, man. It was very nice to see you. You have a very good night. Hell yeah. Oh, dude, wait. Cat picks and killers. Oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get dance, get dance. Oh, I have to scroll up. <laughs> cat ace. Oh. Dude, I just, I fucking love cats. They're so wonderful. Oh my god, Jacob, you're kidding. Yay! Ireland and Mittens. Very cute. Oh my god, that orange cat, though. Well, that's the thing, man. It's not even about debate, because uh, let's be real. Debate is not a good way to to arrive at truth. Debate is just a good way for one person to show that they are better rhetor rhetorically than the other, and that's all it really is. Like, the best way to arrive at truth is science and data. Someone is starting from a position, I think it just, or starting from, yeah, such a position, I think it just means that they're not even considering to listen. Um, science, yas. Dude, for real, man. Science is the fucking way, dude. For real. For real. Um, yeah, I, I feel you, Waji. I, I think I, I very much agree with you. Like, th there's a lot of times when, you know, it's just it's it's very depressing to see some of this stuff where it's just like especially when people will try to say like oh you know this science fiction or whatever is science fact and it's like it's not fucking science fact man master debaters i i i will refer to them as i've referred to them previously they're debate perverts that's what they are they're debate perverts Dude, science, like, honestly, it's, I don't understand how people, like, get all upset about science. It's, like, it's one of the most interesting fucking things in the world, right? Like, it, it's, there's constantly new information coming out, and yes, there have been times, like, this is one of the arguments that I fucking hate, is when people are like, oh, but science, you know, was, you know, uh, uh, promoting people being, like, shitty to each other with, like, eugenics and whatnot. It's like, yeah, except that the scientific community at large was like, that's dumb, why the fuck would you do that? It was only a few people that were like, mm, this is the greatest idea, you know? Like, that's why scientific consensus exists. Yeah, and it's fine to talk about, you know, like, uh, I mean, it's fine to talk about just about anything, but, you know, like, uh, talking about, like, philosophy or anything of that stuff, like, that's totally fine, you know? And, um... Philosophical discussion can can be very useful and you know a lot of fun, but 
to to try to conflate that with like actual knowledge or like actual you know knowledge of the truth is just like why you know dude exactly exactly that shit pisses me the fuck off as well <laughs> which is also why i get so like why when we were talking about it the other day with like intersex you know when we were talking about like intersex people and all that stuff the other day why i had to take some moments sometimes to calm myself down because oftentimes people will do that will say like well the science doesn't support that and it's like actually it fucking does and here's all the evidence and support for it but then they'll be like oh but this you know and it, it just, it frustrates the hell out of me when people, after seeing all that shit, are still like, oh, but the science doesn't support it. And it's like, okay, point out what part of the studies, or the data gathering, or the conclusion that you have a problem with. Because that's how this shit actually works. Like, you know, peer review works by other scientists looking at this shit and going, mm, I think you fucked up right there. And that's why those papers won't get, well, I, I forget exactly how it works, but it's like, you can publish a paper, but then it can get, or you can publish a study or a paper, but then it, it gets, um, not lambasted, I, I can't think of the word, but like, the scientific community at large, or, you know, like, in that particular group will look at it and say, you fucked up right here, and then it's like, oh, well, we retract, I think, you know, that kind of thing. Like, okay, we have to go back and do this again, or at least a reputable scientist will say, you know, we have to go back and do it again, because clearly there's something wrong. Um... Uh, I think of another contra controversial topic. Yeah, peer review, peer review. Oh, 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 hang on. Oh, dude, oh man, I love watching like historians and scientists just obliterate people on Twitter. That is one of the one of the reasons why I I love it. Um. Did we lose Sanus from this? Yeah, Sanus was having trouble. Like, I guess uh, um, Comcast was being a, a, a butt face this evening. Um, but yeah, like when someone makes a claim and then a scientist is like, <clears throat> uh, no, that's not how that works. Like, uh, always, always gives me like, I, I, I don't know what the term is, but like that, that feeling of just like, ah. <sighs> Yes. Oh my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. When, when you when you just pick like a random thing and you're like, oh yeah, this is the part that I want to use. Like, no, that's not that's not how that shit works. That's uh, Justice Boner. Yes, Justice Boner. Let's go. Um. Yeah. No, I I very much agree with you, DJ. Like that that yeah. It's, it's very difficult sometimes to discern, but it also feels like um, the longer a discussion goes on, the easier it becomes to pick out the cockbags, right? Because it's like, the longer it goes on, the more their shitty ideas reveal themselves as shitty, and then you're like, ah, you've outed yourself. Thank you so much. <laughs> you've outed yourself as a piece of garbage. Goodbye. Wait, did this thing just change? You got a lady boner thinking about the justice boner. And now we're back to normalizing sex talk. Let's go. What's up, Zano? Very good, very good. Science has big I'm about to end this people's whole career energy. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. The circle of life. The circle of life. And the circle of getting owned on Twitter for being a cockbag. No shame. Hell yeah, dude. Wait, Mother Trucker hadn't followed you yet? Shit. Oh, fuck. I'm out of space. It was a well-earned follow, I feel like. Yeah. Like, yeah. she had to decide whether she liked me or not. And I'm, 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 that's why I'm thinking. Who, who I'm... really has to decide? They should know. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not for everybody and that's okay. I, I i agree to disagree <laughs> agree to disagree <laughs> i'm definitely not everybody's cup of tea as, uh, as my trash panda sister i agree to disagree but you know <laughs> oh that's awesome yay i love that our communities are just like intermixing so much Now I'm just sort of watching an orc play Vigia. <laughs> yeah, dude, actually, ORC or ORK are totally... Uh, either one is acceptable. 
Either one is acceptable. And also, like, so I... This is actually something that I, I should ask, uh, like, Wolf. Actually, Sponge and uh, Zombie, I, I, if you guys are here, um, are either of you up on, like, the furry community? I only ask because I know that you're both, uh, you both follow Sora and Wolf. And, like, I ha I will fully admit I know jack and shit about the furry community. I, I guess what I'm asking is, am I technically a furry? Yeah, but no, no, because they changed it to Uruk now. No? Okay. Because, like, I don't know what makes somebody technically a furry. Also, what's up, Peach? I'm a Tusky? Fuck yeah, let's go. <laughs> Slowly rate. Oh, 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 okay, DJ. If it, Listen, if you have info, please. Oh, I, I disagree. I didn't choose Vandris, the, the universe to set, uh, 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 destined it. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. I, like, I, I don't remember how quickly you and I became friends, Vandy. I feel like it was very quick. Oh, it was practically immediately. I, I remember... I think it was, like, the first stream I hung out with you. I, I kind of just hung out from the shadows. Mm -hmm. And then by the second one, I was just, like... we Me and you were just chatting the entire time. It was... Yeah. It was... Hell yeah, man. Uh, let's see here. I gotta catch a greenie. Yeah. Although that makes me really uncomfortable because that's the name of the treats that we give our cat. <laughs> They're called greenies. Um, the unofficial recruiter. Dude, fuck yeah, let's go. You work at Furcons, hang out with a bunch of furries. Okay. There's much more to it? Okay, alright. You are the token human of furries. Let's go. Yeah, so, um, I... <laughs> I'm sorry, by the way, that I constantly swear in your streams when I'm there. <laughs> yeah, everybody kind of at this point is like, eh, it's it's Noter. Yeah, it, like, it's it's the orc. He's gonna say some. He's gonna he's gonna break like, the rules all the time because he doesn't follow stinky Humi rules. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much yeah. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. sorry. I I because I, I keep forgetting if you're because you you were family friendly at one point and then you weren't. Well, the thing is, is that we're still not family friendly. Okay. I just like to keep stuff still tame i okay like, understood we'll still get into more interesting topics now at times like talking about who ha candles uh, <laughs> but i'm not dropping the f-bomb left and right i'm yeah. actually really like i'm i'm enjoying the fact because it helped me stop swearing all the time so mm -hmm. like i'm i'm actually enjoying Dude, it can i just uh, can i just tell you um so like my wife was very concerned when we first uh when, when like she was going to introduce me to her like her brother and her sisters and well more more her brother and his kids because she was like she was thinking i wouldn't be able to stop swearing mm -hmm. i think i exploded her brain just a little bit <laughs> when immediately I was like the 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 swear machine just turned off. See, that's that's how I normally am too. I do really really well like if you know <laughs> at like corporate things, being around kids. Like, so when I had to go family friendly for Minecraft, it really wasn't a huge deal. Like it like it was easy for me to turn it on and off super fast. Mm -hmm. uh, but now I'm just kind of in the habit of like I'm I'm I only. <laughs> say the F word or something if I'm feeling really spicy. Or restraint that exists. It it does. It does. But only for only for the for the wee children's. Not for the smelly adults. Oh dude, I, I kinda love that where it was uh, what Xano was saying. Somebody gave him attention, and he immediately had a panic attack. <laughs> I think it was actually Killer, if I yeah. remember correctly. I think it was Killer, because then I think Killer felt, if I remember the whole timeline of stuff, I th I don't exactly remember what happened, that Killer was... You are correct, Peach, you are correct. Killer was being very loving on. Yeah, it, yeah, it's, that Killer actually felt so bad that they had DM'd uh, Xano afterwards. Oh, fuck, man. I was like, I'm so sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, shit, man. Wait, one of the... Uh, hang on, I gotta see exactly what Liz has said. Oh, the, the, the swearing switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I honestly, I could see that. I could see that. As somebody who's originally from the Midwest, like, I could totally see having the swear switch. Being, like, part of just, like, that area of culture, right? Hell yeah. Well, that I can definitely... I, 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 can, I can vouch for that. Oh, actually, so I don't know. I feel like of our friends group, Peach, you and I are probably the most foul-mouthed of all of them. I'm going to stand here and let the bots take away all my garbage. Oh, yeah. A million percent. Killer, Killer is the hug bomb lord. Yeah. Oh, I feel like if the day ever comes that we meet Killin' in person, we're both gonna just get tackled. Mm. Ah. Yes. Oh, oh, DJ, let me show you this shit. Okay, so do you do you know anything about Factorio? If not, I will, I will begin the explanation. It is a game about automation. So you start off having to manually mine stuff with your pick and, like, gather things. And, you know, you get, like, these, these crappy mining drills that burn coal to mine. And then eventually you get, like, steam boilers and you feed them coal so that they make energy for you. And then you build power poles to, like, power electric drills and electric smelters for your iron and your copper. And then you get into, like... My, uh, uh, pumping oil and all kinds of stuff and now we have trains and robots and uh, you know we we are I think we already researched nuclear missiles um, we have uh, like I'm wearing power armor right now which is why I'm so fast uh, because if you look at my no, power you say armor, it properly. So, you fast. Say it properly. so fast, so fast. So um, I have these pneumatic or these exoskeletal legs that allow me to move. Um, I forget how much. Oh, thirty percent faster. So when I put the other, let's see, that's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. So uh, when I put all of them in, I have one hundred and eighty percent faster movement speed. So I move very fast, very very fast. In fact, let me just let me just test it. So this is how fast I move normally without the magic legs, and then. And then, when I go full legs, where are my legs? Legs. <laughs> God, I love the I love the mecha legs. Yeah, exactly. Just standard hugs. Just standard hugs. Yeah, it's so good. Yes, yes. We are still talking about Factorio. I am in fact wearing power armor. Power armor that has laser turrets built into it. See? And a nuclear reactor and a shield generator. But yeah, man. Th this, this game is, is fucking great. It's so much fun. Freaking lasers! And I also, I, like, I modify my armor from time to time. Like, if I'm going out to murder a bunch of bugs, I'll take out a couple of the legs and then put in even more laser turrets. Um, I do, I do. Yes, the only difference is I can't fly. But actually, I forget. Can we make the the spider mech yet? I don't think so. No, I think that's still somewhere in the research. Yeah, the the spider mech is still somewhere in the research tree. We haven't touched it yet. Oh, I mean, we could research it though. Instead of this shit, it's taken for freaking ever. Yeah, I forget. We, we counted exactly how many limbs I have right now, and it's like 16 or 18 or something. It's quite a feat. The Red Banded Southern Nope. Yeah, well, actually, I guess it's more the Red Banded Northeastern Nope, because that's where I'm from now. But what critter did we discover that has... Uh... Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. It was a kind of... There were caterpillars that had 16 legs. Yes, yes, yes. That's right, because we were trying to... Like, we were trying to think of the name for something that has 16 legs. Uh... Thank you, Flame. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Because, like, honestly, you know, going through the whole um, thought process of, like, you know, God Godric. <laughs> yeah, Godric has 16 limbs. A sexy decapede. <laughs> Allie, I love you. I love you so much. 
even remember what the fuck I was saying now. God damn it. <laughs> oh, shit. Whew. Yeah, yeah. Um... I'm going to get a fly swatter and put devil horns on it so we can call it the pronghorn anti-nope. <laughs> Come on. Well, actually, uh, I, I'm sorry to tell you, I would actually never use a fly swatter in our house. Uh, I, I like th There's nothing that I would actually kill in here. We always just let them out of the house. You know? Sexy decapede. That's a new one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because it's like you're adding the, the suffix. Uh, suffix? No, prefix for six. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I have a cat. Which, we have to keep her away from eating bugs. Like, she will randomly find bugs and just be like, Nom, and we're like, no! <laughs> Leave the bug alone! It's See, bad I for you. the other issue where my cats don't touch any of the bugs. And I live in the south, so I deal with a lot of bugs that it's like, I kind of wish they would deal with the bugs. Like, yeah. Can you, can you please do something with that? And they're like, no, we're friends now. And I'm like, no, please. <laughs> there are some, some crazy insects, but like, some of them are freaky looking, but very beneficial. So, like, um, so, for example, the house centipede, which is not like a garden centipede. So, it, while venomous, it is not, it does not have fangs large enough to bite a human, unlike the garden centipede, which will cause a horrible, painful bite. Um, these just look like a walking mustache. And they are, just like spiders, very beneficial because they will eat other arthropods in your house, including spiders. Um. Oh God, palmetto bugs. Ooh, no, 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 no. Yeah, palmetto bugs. Uh, while, while thankfully not as horribly gross as uh, roaches, are still that. Okay, that's a big so, note for me. Fun fact: palmetto bugs are just roaches. Excuse me. Palmetto a, pet, a palmetto bug is literally the slang word for it because people do not want to admit that they're a roach. So palmetto bugs usually categorize under really? one or two roaches. It's either the smoky brown roach or the American cockroach. Ah, okay. Um, See, what I remembered was that, like, I, I seem to recall that they were bigger than... Well, maybe just... I learned... So I used to work at a pest control company down here, and I learned that because I was like, I was like, so what are palmetto bugs? They're like, no, those are, those are just... Th are those roaches. are just roaches. People don't want to admit that they have roaches, <sighs> but because... People associate roaches immediately with German cockroaches, the gross ones, the ones that, like, are because you don't clean. And you ah. But palmetto or these other types of cockroaches, <laughs> they literally just want, they're usually looking for water. Okay. So, so, like, so, what, so they are technically still a roach, but they are not what people usually refer to when they're talking about roaches. Yeah. Okay, yes, gotcha. I mean, they are roaches. They are yeah. like palm. It's just so the much like the Madagascar there. hissing cockroach is a cockroach. It's not the same as like when people in the United States refer to cockroaches. Yeah, and okay. it's it's they're usually trying to get into the house because of one or two things. They're either looking for moisture, mm -hmm. or it's getting cold out and they want to go somewhere warm. But those fuckers are big and yeah. they're really fast. And I deal with them constantly here, and I hate them. I hate them so much. Like, I will, I will leave the room for, like, a month if I see one. So uh, I, I, I'm going to tell you a weird story about a cockroach. Um, my, my friend Woj uh, used to live in Florida when he was going to college. And um, he's very much into, like, into painting things because he's, he's an artist. And uh, he had this, like, fluorescent green paint. And there was, he was in his, his dorm, and a cockroach, like, he kept seeing this cockroach run around. And he was like, I need to know if this is the same one. So he waited for it to come into his room, and then as it was leaving, he put his brush down and painted its back this fluorescent orange and named him Jerry. So he knew that it was just Jerry and not many smaller Jerry's. Yeah. It was a weird way of doing things, but, you know, I was like, all right, sure. Because, uh, you know, he was like, I, I knew not to step on it because I knew that that would just make more cockroaches because usually if they're carrying eggs, you're just literally getting their larvae all over your boots, right? So, hey, by your silence, I'm guessing you're dry heaving. <laughs> Is this a yes? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Maybe just a little bit, a little driving. 
Crawled so god dude, oh my god, no, 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 not Jerry was a race car driver, but turned into cockroaches. That's awful. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Yo, Lizza, it, it, virtual fist bump. Nature burritos for the win. This this is also one of the reasons why Lady and I get along so well. Lisa is, went to school. Like, Lisa literally just graduated for yeah. nature stuff. <laughs> I don't know the exact name of it. I'm sorry, uh, Lisa. No, no. I, I love how ambiguous that was. So, Lisa, what is your, your degree in? He'd be named Bob. Yeah. <sighs> I know it's, it's like plants and stuff. Yeah, DJ, I'm also with you. Like, I, I, I will not commit violence against spiders, but I am also arachnophobic. But I, I will not kill them because I know how... Uh, well, first off, I, I try not to kill anything, um, unless it's a bloodsucker, and in that case, it dies. Because, uh, let's be real, mosquitoes and ticks, fuck those things. Fuck those things. The best thing they can do is feed a frog, or a, a possum. Because, by, by the way, by the way, if you have ticks, in your, like, in your area, possums are the best way to get rid of them. For real, like, encourage possums to come to your place. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, killer. Natural resources? Dude. That's awesome. Dude, hissing cockroaches are really cool. You have moss in a terrarium named Bob. That's awesome. Why do I say things like that? Like what? Nothing there impossible. Yeah, honestly, like, there are some, there are some invertebrates that are just like, th there's no getting rid of them. Have snakes have gators? No ticks. Wow, that's interesting. I didn't. Does I mean like when I was in when I lived in Illinois, we didn't really have ticks. Like it was rare to see one, and now here in the Northeast, they're fucking everywhere. You just cannot get rid of little bastards. Oh damn! Wow. Hell yeah, dude. Your wife needs no encouragement to collect possums. Listen, possums are fucking cool, man. They're cute. They're they're you know, they're hygienic. They're the 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 only northeastern marsupial, or not northeastern, but the only like North American marsupial that I'm aware of. Okay, because I feel like ticks would be fine in in like a more. Um... Oh my god, that possum is so cute. Dude, oh, they're so adorable. I love possums. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Trash buddies with raccoons. Let's go. Yeah, possums are fucking sick. Oh, that's so that's so goddamn cute. So actually, my my wife when she was little at at their their old house when they were kids. Um, you're gonna cry in the corner. Why, zombie? Why are you gonna cry? No crying. Have have poggy conversations with us. No cry. No cry. Um, they used to take eggs and like bring them out to the raccoons and roll them across their deck to see them like pick them up with their little hands and then like crack them open and stuff. Oh my god, so adorable. <laughs> oh. Yes, Vandris is definitely three trash pandas in a, in a trench coat. A, a million percent. There is no doubt to this. Any who doubt the Vander science must be Vandersplained. <laughs> Good job, killer. Good job. Yo, that sounds so good. Although, when you said the Kung Pao Chicken thing, it reminded me of that Am I the Asshole that we read the other night. Whoo! That was something else. Do you remember which one I'm talking about? Wait, what was that? The, the Am I the Asshole thing that we started off with the other night. Mmm! Yeah, yeah, holy fuck, that was something holy else, man. Holy, yeah. Whew. 
Yo, you've met Lee already? Hell yeah, let's go. Yes, Am I the Asshole. Yeah, we're actually doing another Am I the Asshole this Sunday. Uh, we're actually doing it with Leah this time. Yeah. So, uh, although, <laughs> I, I think, like, we were trying to determine what her title was, and then she was, like, judge, jury, and executioner. And now I think what I'm going to say is that she's uh, judge, jury, and executioner <laughs> Just, Just to keep the meme going and see what she says. Leah. Yeah, Leah's wicked. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, Ellie, so we're doing uh, we're doing an Am I the Asshole stream this Sunday evening. I was going to do it Monday, and then I realized that, you know, I have to work the next day, and it's going to be month-end close, and I was like, no. Oh, yeah, it's a thing now. I mean, it has been a thing for a while. Like, basically, ever since I met Sponge, it's been a thing. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. <laughs> Actually, I think that that makes a lot of sense. I think you are correct. I think you are very correct, Liza. I, I will have to uh, bring this up to Leah and see what she and see what she thinks. Actually, I gotta check what time is it. Okay, just gotta make sure I go to bed at a regular time. Killer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, dude. <sighs> Excuse me. God damn. Merge into one mecha. See, God damn it, no. I actually, you know what? Go for it. Who am I to say no? I mean, I'll be real with you, Vandras. You missed a lot the other night when I went into Leah's stream because the OC continued there, like, really hard. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, like, uh, apparently, you know, my name is Notorious BL Tussie. <laughs> God damn it. You love it, don't you lie. It's wonderful. <laughs> okay, maybe you don't love it, but you should. It's not... Yeah. It's not just wonderful. Okay. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Are you editing it to Notorious BL to see? Hell yeah, let's go. It's very good in the Dark Souls voice. Let's go. Ah, all right, Lisa. You have a good night. It was very nice to see you. Uh, I hope you good have night, enjoyed Lisa. your time here. And uh, we will check you later. Come back to BL to see. <laughs> I love that this is just how things have been going now in this chat. <laughs> I step away for five minutes and suddenly it's BL to see. You're goddamn right it is. Oh, 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 oh. Fair, fair, fair. Well, this is awkward. Now it feels like we were just shooing her off. Uh, no, absolutely not. Never. Never, 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 never. I would never. Feels bad. Oh, no. We should wait for what? Wait, why the fuck is this not connecting? Ew! I see, I see. This is a rat's nest of garbage, and I'm very proud of it. Yeah, exactly. BJ's, tussies, and respectful conversations on communities. Yeah, that's exactly what we were doing tonight. What a, what a weird mishmash of, <laughs> of subjects. Someone fight me on this? Wait, what are we fighting you on? Root beer is the ultimate drink. Uh oh. <laughs> Thank you, Allie. Thank you. <laughs> this is a rat's nest of garbage, and I'm very proud of it. Yep. I cannot be stopped. Needs ice cream. Oh, dude. Root beer floats. So, I, I actually did not like root beer floats for the longest time. 
I thought they were just like garbage drink. Like you just you put you put ice cream in in this this drink to like make it better, but you just made it worse. As an adult now, I'm like, no, that shit is the best thing on earth. It's so good. Oh, uh, okay. I actually I actually cannot. Oh, thank you, thank you, DJ. Thank you. I actually cannot drink diet drinks because aspartame gives me migraines. I love that you guys said root beer floats. Why? Ooh, yeah, Al alcoholic root beer floats, that shit is good. It's just like, um, in the summer, I will make, uh, or at least I used to make, I, I, should, I, I could still make them uh, for my wife, but I, I shouldn't be drinking them, um, uh, adult milkshakes. And I don't mean adult as in sexy milkshakes, although let's be real, they're pretty fucking sexy when they got alcohol on them. Uh, but um, it's like, you know, a milkshake, like a chocolate milkshake with Baileys. Or like Kahlua. Or whiskey. That shit is good. Birch beer is good too. Oh no, she said the word. I know, bit <laughs> you said bitch beer. <laughs> wait, wait, is bitch beer a thing? A milf shake? Th that, is, that is my wife. For me. <laughs> oh, yo. I love peanut butter and jelly. I love PB and J. Oh yeah, diabetes. Yeah, I can understand that. Yeah. What? What? So I, I will tell you, I, I actually had a PB and J burger once, and it was like it had the. Uh, like, um, that kind of peanut butter you can get that has, like, it has the oil on the top, so it's like you have to mix it up. Um, and it had a bacon jam. Oh, so good. Get your peanut butter whiskey and mix equal parts of that with grape juice into a shot. Ooh. I was wondering about that. I was like, who is Dork Knot? And now I know. Now I know. What if you like your milk shaken, not stirred? I, wait, what? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> this conversation has gone all over the fucking place, man. Now you want milk? Dude, I have to say, I do miss being able to drink, like, to do, like, milk and cookies without having to take lactase beforehand. Like, being lactose intolerant, and I'm glad that I've discovered it, but I also, like... I'm upset with being lactose intolerant. It sucks. Milfs and cocktails? Fuck yeah. So, actually, strangely enough, like, when I met my wife, um, I had no idea that she was older than I was. And, like, it... I don't know. I, I, I guess, like, I get weird about, like, some things. What, what about milf tails? Oh! Like, milf cocktails. Got you. Um... When it comes to, like, age differences in, in relationships, I guess the only time that I get weird about it is, like, when there's an older dude with a much younger woman, and that just always feels, like, exploitative to me for some reason. Or, like, I'm always wary of it being exploitative, you know? We're back to furries. Oh, we can be. Sure. Oh, yeah. No, man. I, I, I love my wife. She's wonderful. Sounds like a drink you should invent. Yes. Definitely. We still have to make Estes. Bandy, you and I, we have to make Estes. Heck yeah, dude. Yo, we should make one of these Wednesday nights, like, if we, if we can get, like... Oh, dude, before Thanksgiving. I, I got it. Well, is it because at least I'll have the next day off, we should do um, a, uh, like, a, an Elden Ring night where we, where we have Estes. You and I play Elden Ring and drink Estes. And you can have the, the virgin version, because I know you're not big on drinking. No, I'll drink with you for a night. Okay. We don't have... Obviously, we don't have to overdo it or anything. It's like, why? You know? That's also something I don't really get. But you know what? It's not for me. So, what the hell does it matter, right? I, I told you about that, that conversation that I had at my parents' house, right? Oh, no! What happened? He won't acknowledge my double D. Vandross! <laughs> I don't know why 
that just hit me. It just, yeah, see, naughty, naughty. Because <laughs> that's a boob size, dude. I, I, trust me, I know. Oh, okay. I just, so, <laughs> what do you say? He won't it's, acknowledge. It's, it's, it's a huge, it's a huge meme with my name. Oh, like, okay, good, good. I'm, I'm well aware. For, for a second, I thought you were saying that you didn't realize, and I was like, what? Come on, no, man. No, no, there's, there's always a second D in there. There's always a second D. <laughs> oh, no, not banned. Just got a message deleted. <laughs> because Van, Vandy and Zombie have this very strange relationship. I really hesitate to call it a relationship. It's more like, how would you describe the... Fuck if I know. Like... <laughs> Zombie <laughs> perceives some sort of marriage of sorts when I don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't know. Yeah, he, he thinks we're married. I'm deleting his messages constantly. <laughs> I don't know what's... <laughs> this is my life. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's okay, lazy. Calm down, because that can be perceived many different ways. You need to <laughs> phrasing for a moment, please. Can you? Uh, can we backpedal here a bit? And like, I kind of oh. want to delete your message, lazy. And lazy, I love you, so it's like I'm struggling here. <laughs> oh, I love that, dude. Oh shit, that's wonderful. Holy shit, man. <laughs> Don't you? Whoa, whoa! You're the one that said it. Holy no, shit! You this you're the one that no no it's too late now. Yet you 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 felt the need to join in. You're staying out of this. I think you already stepped in, it, my man. Yeah, you're you're here. Well, well, welcome welcome to the shit show. Lady. <laughs> Corey is milf, not oral. Let's go. Dude, okay, so f funny enough, funny enough, because somebody said the word cougar earlier. You know, my wife is older than me, and uh, her favorite animal is actually the cougar. And she's, she's annoyed that people pick on her about it all the time because she's like, okay, whatever, but, like, they're actually my favorite animal, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just think it's funny. You know? Who brought the popcorn? I need snacks. I have fuck, some yeah. flaming hot smart food popcorn right now, which is, like, by far the most amazing thing I've ever Honestly, I want to try that shit real bad. Dude, it's really good. If you like the Flaming Hot stuff, like Flaming Hot Cheetos, and you like Smart Food Popcorn, it's it's so good. So, I, I think I've had Flaming Hot Cheetos before, but my, my recent addiction is the hot uh, chili lime Takis. Those yeah, things... so these are kind of like that, minus the lime. Uh... So it's kind of like Takis minus the lime. So you just get the hot, but now you're getting kind of like the sweet cheddar the of the smart food the the hot the hot the hot so hot it, <sighs> lazy it's really good oh <gasps> dude the takis powder and put it on popcorn that would be so fucking delicious man holy shit i like that dj said yeet it over popcorn oh, well, Actually, of course I, I really i really liked the phrasing on that well i mean i i feel that that is just the right amount of sauce to put on that because you know like Let's be real. You're not just going to, like, pour it on or put it on. You're going to put that on with some stank, you know? There is a recipe. Go on. Dude, all you have to do is put any sort of chip in a pepper grinder, and there you go. You got the powder for it. Let's go. Dude, uh, okay, I love that we're going to have basically, like, two killers in the chat. That's wonderful. <laughs> More people with brain vomit like me. I love it. <laughs> the word of the day is yeet. The word of the day is always yeet. Thank you. See, that makes me feel very nice. Although, I, does anybody know where the fuck the, the word yeet came from? Because I'll be real, I thought it was Kanye West. But I think I'm wrong. I think you're wrong, too. Yeah, I don't think it's Kanye. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't what? Think it's Kanye what? <laughs> Listen! <laughs> Let's say this uh, so Mythical Kitchen became aware of Markiplier's addiction, and they did. They made Taki powder. Dude, that's so good. Yeah, absolutely. Post that link. It's the opposite of yoink. In 2008, an Urban Dictionary user described the word as simply a way to express excitement. The entry elaborated that it could be used uh, in basketball when someone has shot a three-pointer and they are sure uh, will go into the hoop or... Even more colorfully, when one ejaculates, no! 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, Xano, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Into sprouts. We have developed a Taki seasoning and put it onto products. It will be called Spicy... R Dude, Whiskey Pete. First off, welcome. Second, that is fucking sick. Okay, I'm opening the shit for later. Because I need me a Taki. That is fucking sick, man. Also, yeah, thank you, Urban Dictionary, and also, like, Know Your Meme. Those are two uh, wonderful sites for, you know, internet knowledge? <laughs> I guess it can be classified as knowledge of a sword? You're working on flavoring, uh, fl yeah, flaming hot flavors as well? Dude, that's sick, man. I love that. No fucking way. To add to the above, originating and coined in 1998 by British presenter Jeremy Clarkson, but popularized in a 2014 video uploaded to Vine. What the fuck? That's so good. Uh, I forget if Jeremy Clarkson is actually like a nice person or kind of a shitbag. Like, I, it, this is one of those things that always gets me is like, I hate finding out that people that I once liked and had respect for are assholes. You know? Yeah, that would be the Top Gear guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wavy Takis are friggin' nasty. I don't think I've ever had... I've, so I've only ever had one kind of Taki, and it's the Chili Lime one. All right, Zoni, you have a good night, man. It was good to see you. You have a good one. JK... Oh, God, JK Rowling is the fucking worst. Actually, <laughs> Waji recently went to London and went to the uh, the Harry Potter Museum, and when I... A okay, I have to read this out loud because I just loved Waji's response so much. Um, where is it? Spiniest Bard. James 22. Fuck yeah, let's go. Um, where was it? I want to say it was here. Ah, okay. So, they said that they, you know, they, they went, to, they got a Slytherin scarf or whatever, and I said, did you slap JK Rowling for her transphobic BS? And then Waji said, I tried when they had the pre-recorded video of her at the start of the tour, but the screen was too high up. <laughs> like, I love that it wasn't like, oh, it was more like, yeah, of course I tried. I just couldn't reach it. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, so it's a potato check instead of a rolled up tortilla. Okay, that explains why it would kind of suck. Oh, good, good, good. Ah, very good, very good. Oh, also as a note, um, if, if you're listening to the music that I'm playing, it is not from this game. It is from a game called The Last Spell, which if you like turn-based uh, tactical games, get that shit. It's real good. Ah, very good, very good. Well, welcome to you both. It's not always the most active uh, community, but we I try to do, like, you know, announcements and whatnot there, so, you know... It's, it's, it's a good place, and uh, we... I don't want to say we do constant audits, but more like whenever somebody shows their ass, we tend to be very... Um, I usually like to try to talk to people first and be like, did you know you're showing your ass? But if they d show no remorse for showing their ass, then I'm like, all right, well, goodbye. <laughs> um... What the fuck, Dell? I don't know if I know that one. Um. Oh, dude, no worries. I, I, I do that kind of shit all the time. Like, there are times when I, I try to clean up my follows, and then, like, I accidentally hit somebody, and then I realize later, and I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I love that. Is ass showing required? No, no. It's it's more like uh, the the. <laughs> Basically, what I mean when I say if, when somebody shows their ass, I mean like you know they show the garbage parts of themselves, as in like you know that they're like anti-gay or anti-trans or just like 
making fun of marginalized groups, that kind of shit. Which we've only had, like, what, twice, maybe? Um, once with it's somebody... It's very rare I have to boot people for yeah. actually being shitty. Yeah, because, like, uh, the, the two people that I told very early on when I, when I opened the Discord to the public um, were two younger people that just didn't really understand. And so, like... You know, when I told them, they were both like, oh, shit, I had no idea. Because they were also both from Europe and didn't really understand some of the nuances of English, right? So, like, when I told them that some of the shit they were saying was, like, stuff used by assholes to, like, you know, marginalize trans people, they were like, oh, fuck. I was like, yeah, that's why you shouldn't say shit like that. And they were like, oh, I'm really sorry, you know? So, it, it, was, it was a positive, it was an overall positive interaction that started off kind of poop, you know? I see. I have no ass. I, that's honestly like a lot of dudes don't have an ass. Let's be real. Like whenever my wife is like, "You got a cute butt," I'm like, "No, I don't. There's nothing there, man." <laughs> it came out before all the turf stuff did when she was uh, pointing out after the book or the, the books were done that X Y Z were uh, always gay, trying to get points for rep. Even though there wasn't a... S oh, right. I remember what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. Too much. There's no such thing. There is no such thing. As 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 a lover of the badonkadonk, I will say there is no such thing as having too much booty. Hell yeah. The lesser known Harlan Ellison story. I have no ass and I must fart. Oh my god. <laughs> Allie, I love you so much. <laughs> Okay, that I understand. That I understand. Like, if, if you if, if it prevents you from sleeping, that sucks. That sucks real bad. Uh, yeah. If, if it is actually causing you any kind of problem, then yeah. Um, oh, fuck. You have chronic desk jockey butt? Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, th I think I understand what that entails as, as a also desk jockey. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, we're repairing things. All right, good job, robots. Right, I'm going to do a once over the wall to make sure the robots are repairing shit. Um, I was going to say something, and now I forget what the fuck it was. Oh, so I watched... So, like, on the subject of, like, debates don't mean anything, um, I watched or listened to a debate today while I was at work uh, between this um, libertarian socialist and this woman who is, like... Her, I think her name is Deborah So. She's, like, an anti-trans fucking weirdo. And um, <laughs> I just... I had to stop myself from laughing out loud when the libertarian socialist was like, you know, basically talking shit about TERFs and used the term TERF. And she was like, that the word TERF is a slur. And he was like, are you fucking insane? <laughs> and I was like, thank you. Thank you. Like, that kind of shit cannot go unanswered, my man. Hell no. All right, you have a good night, Lisa. Uh, have a very good evening. It was very nice to have you here, and I hope you have a very wonderful evening. I forget what his exact response was, but yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. But like, you know, it, it was just, it, it, there were so many times during the debate that I was like, this woman has no fucking idea what she's doing. Because she's like, she's she has a doctorate, I forget in what, but then like some of the shit she was saying at one point, this dude was like, wait, I'm sorry, you're a doctor? <laughs> like, not actually meaning it with the stank and shade that he said it, but at the same time, it's like, are you for real? Like, you believe this shit, and you have a PhD in something. Like, it, you know, it just goes to show, like, not everybody with a PhD is actually all that fucking smart, you know what I mean? Like, it just believes, oh, it was like uh, using anecdotes instead of actual, like, data and evidence for shit. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, TERF stands for Trans Exclusive Radical Feminist. So, TERFs are people who are like, 
women's rights, but not trans rights. That's a turf. So basically, they're they're assholes. They're like, we want rights for us, but no one else. You know, that's basically what it is. Yeah, same. I love I love genuine reactions like that, where it's like the smart person is just like, I'm sorry. Did you really just like talk out your butt? Yeah, yeah. It, it's it, it's. <sighs> Because I actually had to look it up the first time I saw it, too. I was like, I have no fucking idea what a turf is. Because I was thinking, like, astroturf? Or, like, you know, turf. Like, because I, when when I was in high school, I knew uh, one of my friends was a turf farmer. So, like, they would not, like, farming, not, you know, growing assholes out of the ground. Like, they were growing, like, actual um, types of grass for, like, golf courses and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, so I was like, what the fuck is it? Like, how does how does grass refer to any of this shit? And then, um, you know, then I, I looked into it and was like, oh. These people suck. <laughs> yeah, see? See? That's everything. It could be about territory. But no, in this case, if it's all in caps, it's people being buttholes. <laughs> yeah, they weren't growing assholes out of the ground, exactly. There, there were no assholes being grown out, out, out the earth. Not this time, anyway. Not this time. So these guys are... Where are you going? Nowhere? Um, Allie, do you know where we're sending the... Uh... The stone? Butthole territory. Yeah, yeah. Tritung butthole territory. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's more of a Dark Souls 2. So, or... I guess... That's also Dark Souls 3? Uh-oh. Here we go. I know what's coming. Probably for bricks? I think so. I think... Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, well, what was it? No, it was for, um... Train tracks. And bricks? Yeah, I think we had something for train tracks and something for, like... It, I, I think we, we had dual purpose. Somewhere. Um... Oh, Jesus Christ. Hang on. Let me drink some water. It has been a while. <clears throat> Eat right, hydrate, and take care of your mental health. Spread love and joy to the world and keep improving a little each day. You are loved, are lovely, and deserve love. Beep boop. <laughs> Yay! Remember when this was the silly thing from Starbound? It um, well, I, I think it actually existed in the Spelunky days, too, didn't it? Now I'm curious. No, it definitely existed in the Splunky days because there was someone, um, what does that little icon do? Which icon? Well, I know I, I did rope it during the, the Splunky days, um, because there were, <laughs> there were some people that didn't seem to understand what the purpose of it was, and so they just kept trying to say, like, weird shit, or trying to get me to say weird shit, like, somebody put just, like, peep-poo, 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 like, over and over again, and I was like, I'm not doing that. You put it for, like, it, there's, like, 500 fucking words in here. I'm not doing that. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, God. God damn. Oh, it's 934. Okay, I should go to bed because I, I do have work tomorrow morning. And from what our regional controller said, it's going to be a big day. So I should probably head off. Although I, I really don't want to because I have really been enjoying the conversation in everybody's company. And just, you know, everybody just kind of being here and chilling out and just having a good time, you know? Um, let's see who we can riggedy raid after I pause these. Yeah, boo work, boo. If I could be a full-time streamer, I would, but alas, I cannot. Alas. Alas. Now you can start your thing. You can. Oh, the stretch. Thank you for the reminder. Actually, Killer, if you're gonna, uh, if you're gonna stream, go do that, and then I'll I'll just raid into you. How's that? Actually, well, you know what? We haven't raided Dick in a while. <laughs> Banders, help me. That needs to be the raid message. <laughs> Vandras, help me. <laughs> No, we haven't raided Dick in a while. 
Raid deck. <laughs> All right. All right. That's what we're going to do. Okay. So yeah, here's the raid message. Here. Hang on. Here we go. Oh, no, no, no. You got you to put some stank on the dick part, though. Dick. Yep, dick. <laughs> oh, no, because that's making it sound like yuck. Oh, like oh, no, you're right, you're right. Yeah, so how, how, we, how do we make it How do we make it better? I would just put D-Y-I-C-K. Okay. Dick. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, this is the one to use. This is no, the we, one to we use. Don't want, we, don't want to, we don't want to be offensive. No, no, no. No, 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 no we, not to our like friends. DX. Only only to shitheads, not to our friends. <laughs> uh, all right, so Majest Dick. No, why? When I type this in, you should go to the people that I know, not the people that I don't know. Thank you very much, Twitchy Poo. Yeah, that Poo. really annoys me. I don't like yeah. that they do that. Or it's like, here's all the other people. Like, I, Do I really have to keep typing in the fucking name, like, for real? All right, you guys should get to somewhere safe. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm, I already left. So I'm going to save the game and shit. Uh, yeah, I, I love. All right, y'all. Thank you all very much for being here. I will return on possibly Saturday evening with some more Elden Ring. Um, definitely Sunday during the day and Sunday in the evening. Um, I love you all very much. Thank you all so much for being here and having, you know, this wonderful conversation that we, that we had and uh, for just being awesome people. Um, have fun with, uh, with Dick, and uh, we'll see you all later. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Oh yeah, and big shout out to GJ for for coming here and and answering my questions. That was very much appreciated. Like I, for real, thank you so much. Um, yeah. All right, y'all. Have a good night. Bye bye. Boopins. Boopins. There we go.